Hello everyone, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville, I'm Daniel Goodman, over there is John Lewandowski, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Lock, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, you can get this nice shirt there, as well as all your nice hockey equipment needs, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, you can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. All righty, today we've got two games on tap. Uh, first game on tap is the Nashville Predators versus the Washington Capitals. The Nashville Predators have been red hot lately. Um, encroaching upon being one of the hottest teams in the league right now. Um... To think that three weeks ago we were thinking that this team was going to end up being rebuilding. Yeah. What a difference 15 games out of 15 games make. So here, I'll turn it over to John. All right. Shots on goal in the first period. Nashville shoots Washington 8-4. to four. In the second period, Washington outshoots Nashville 13 to 6. In the third period, Nashville outshoots Washington 9 to 5. And in total, Nashville outshoots Washington 23 to 22. In the face off circle, Washington was better at 61.4% to Nashville's 38.6%. On the power play, Nashville went 1 for 3 with eight penalty minutes, while Washington goes one for four with six penalty minutes. Nashville out hit Washington 27 to 16. They out blocked them 18 to 11. Nashville had 25 giveaways to Washington's 14, and Nashville had 10 takeaways to Washington's nine. All righty. Um, scoring in the first was Colton Sissons on the power play with uh, his 10th with an assist from Roman Yossi, his 20th, and Phil Forsberg, his 20th assist. Those two have been tearing it up yeah. lately. Um, As well as Sissons. Sissons has been on fire lately as well. Um, Then in the second period, TJ Oshie, um, he scores his second with an assist from Dylan Strom, his 5th, and the grade 8, oh, Alex Ovechkin, his 12th. Who's been quite stymied this year? Um, it, 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 I don't know, but uh, there's that. Uh, then Phil Tomasino gets his second of the season with an assist from Craig Smith, his ninth, who in the last 15 games has seven points. The six before that. Um, then in the third period, the glass man himself. The man of the people, the Yak. Yakov Trenton scores his seventh in the third with an assist from Alexander Carrier, his ninth, and Michael McCarron, his third. They scored on a deflection. The Nashville Predators beat the Washington Capitals 3-1. to one. These two teams will face each other quite soon. Um, Less than 15 days, we played them in Washington on the 30th. Of December, so um, uh, your three stars of the game, third star of the game, Yakov traded with a goal, Tomasino with a goal, and Saros only giving up a goal with a save percentage of nine nine or nine five five, so ninety five five, ninety five point five FM AM, who knows. <laughs> mm -hmm. All righty, enough with the joking, but in all seriousness, um, the Capitals in that was Charlie Lindgren. He stopped 20 of 23 with an 87 flat save percentage, 87 first time. Um, their backup is Darcy Kemper, who most likely we will see next time. Um, 
while we're here and talking about the Capitals, uh, before we get into um, that really quickly, uh, the Nashville Predators have won four in a row, six of their last seven, and 13 of their past 16. With the conclusion of this game, would you say the Preds are rolling? <laughs> yeah. The confidence is definitely there. The team is definitely there. They're healthy. They're attacking. Um, It does look like Cody Glass got a little bit of a stinger at the end. Uh, I won't know any update on that. until We won't probably know anything until tomorrow. Um... Or the next couple days. Um, hopefully it's just a little stinger that hurt like hell. But he got hooked right here. And you just saw the shoulder go like this. But it went the other direction. And he's going the different direction. So he's being pulled one way while falling another way while being tackled. Um, that was should have awarded an empty net goal. Because he was all by himself and got tackled. But that never happened, so it is what it is. Uh, we'll take the the three one win. Um, on the on the flip side, do you think that this is just one of the years where Ovi's just snake bitten, or do you think it has to do with the TV's on? Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe a little bit of both. I mean, it's been a pretty new team around him this year. Yeah, and and that is one thing. Uh, Backstrom being out for major since the beginning of the season, um, he's used to having him feed him the puck. Um, it just doesn't seem like the Capitals of old. I I I just don't see it. So there's that part of it too. Um, but with that, today, the Nashville Predators draw within two points of first place. Literally, so from fourth to first is two points. Winnipeg and Colorado both have 38. Uh, Winnipeg has a game in hand against Colorado. Every single team has games in hand against Nashville. Um, Dallas has three of them. Uh, Colorado has one, and Winnipeg has two. Now, Nashville doesn't play for a few days, so that'll give them the time to make that up. Um, yikes. Um, on that note as well, the uh, worst team in the league now is the Chicago Blackhawks. So, um, San Jose is not even in last place in their division. Eek. That belongs to the Ducks. Um, but... That's all we got on that one. Speaking of last place, I guess we'll turn over here to the Atlanta Gladiators. Um, I, a statistic was thrown out today that I saw from the ECHL. The Atlanta Gladiators this year have lost 22 one-goal games. Ugh. But all right, let's get in it. All right. So the Atlanta Gladiators took on the Greenville Swamp Rabbits. Shots on goal in the first period, Atlanta outshoots Greenville 20 to 4. In the second period, Atlanta outshoots Greenville 15 to 14. In the third period, Atlanta outshoots Greenville 12 to 10. 
And in total, Atlanta outshoots Greenville 47 to 28. Now on the power play, Greenville went one for five with 10 minutes, five infractions, while Atlanta went one for three with 14 minutes, seven infractions. All righty, story in the first is Navrin Butter with an assist for Bounds, Leland, and Luke Prokop. Um, then that was at the 329 mark. So Mother lets the teddy bears fly and teddy bear toss time in uh in uh Atlanta. So uh yeah. That 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 was a good start. Then at the 731 mark, Jackson Pearson scores with an assist from Alex Whelan and Cody Sylvester. Um, then at the 12.07 mark, Ryan Francis scores with an assist from. Please tell me I'm not reading this right. No, you're reading it right. I'm not saying that. <laughs> All right. Lord Anthony Grissom with an assist also from Nikita Pavlchev. Then the second period at the 45 second mark into the period, the Swamp Rabbits get a goal from Joel Leahy, assisted by Carter Souch and Nikita Pavelchev. Then in the third period at the 708 mark, the Swamp Rabbits get another goal from Ryan Francis, assisted by Nikita Pavelchev again. Then at the 1203 mark, Swamp Rabbits again with a goal from Ben Freeman assisted by Bobby Russell, and at the 16-22 mark, Atlanta gets on the board with a goal from Alex Whelan, assisted by Evan Doherty and Blake Avenue. All right. You can't win games when you spend... Almost an entire half of an entire period on the penalty kill. Actually, they did spend half a period on the penalty kill. They kill one and then they get another one. <coughs> <coughs> Just saying. In that for the um Swamp Rabbits was Luke Richardson. He stopped 44 of 47 with a 93.6 save percentage. In that for the Atlanta Gladiators was Gustav Davis Craggles. He stopped 24 of 28 with an 85.7 save percentage. With that being said, your guy on the crap list, I'm bringing it back for the Atlanta side, is Zach Yoder. Zach Yoder was a minus two. Zach Yoder also had two penalty minutes. Dan, Dylan Vandras, you got to stay out of the box. Freaking Butter had that figured out. He had five shots and no penalty minutes. Didn't know how to do that in Milwaukee. But anyway, your three stars of the game. Third star of the game is Navrin Butter. Second star of the game was Nikita Pavelchev, rightly so. He had, what, uh, three assists and a goal? Or just three assists? Yeah, just three assists. Um, and then uh, Francis, who had two goals. So... Yep. That'll do that for Atlanta now. I'm not sure when Atlanta is up next. Uh. 
um, Wednesday, the 20th, against Greenville. Okay. In Greenville. Which the Ambrose play. So we'll see you then, or Atlanta. Um, hopefully, we could finally knock this kid that they've been on. They are on a. Has it hit 10 yet? No. Yes. No. Wait, I don't know if it's updated yet or not. It's still early in the year. You can still dig out of it, but oof. <sighs> A lot to be said on that one. All righty. Um, in NHL news, Makar out with a blower body injury. Uh, they're checking it out to see how long he is out. The Toronto Maple Leafs blast the Penguins. Seven to nothing without Matthews. Who's out with the flu. Um, line A to miss six weeks with a broken clavicle. And the Jets beat the Avalanche to take The Jets beat the Avalanche 6-2 to two to take over first place in the Central. Part of that whole part where I was saying it's like everybody's going to be clawing at each other at some point. Yeah. It's, it's going to be brutal coming down the line if it stays this close. Now, if Nashville stays as hot as they are, uh, Saros has also won six straight up. I forgot to mention that during our show as well. Uh, this is his sixth straight win, so um, yeah, he's they like I said, Nashville's been. I I don't think there's a hotter team in the NHL right now than Nashville. Maybe Minnesota because they've been climbing a little bit, but they dropped so far back. It hasn't been the last fifteen games, that's for sure. Um. Oh, yes. Um, Juice ties Thomas Volkun all-time for second place in franchise wins with 161. Um, his next win, there's only one man to chase down. Have fun with that one! <laughs> <coughs> The next guy you got to chase down is Mr. Uh, Pecorine. Or, as Saros calls him, Daddy! <laughs> mm -hmm. There used to be a running joke of uh, Papa Pekka. Because <laughs> Pekka was like three times the size of Saros, but they're both from Finland and they've been friends. So, um... For those of you, go check out Tapera um, of Finland. Uh, go check out their uh, Instagram. There's a video of Pekka doing some goalie drills with their goalies over there. Pekka looks like he could start any day now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he looks like he's good to go. <laughs> um, But no, uh, all seriousness, uh, I do think that, you know, um, it's been a lot of fun watching Nashville lately. Um, even from afar while I was sick, um, I, I didn't pay attention. Now, I know we do this. And I didn't pay attention at all. I was so sick. I was just sleeping all the time. And when I had time, I, I, I got to watch like recaps and highlights. And... Because I had a whole lot of other stuff to do with a house full of sick kiddos. <laughs> so, um... With that being said, we will be back tomorrow afternoon. 
um, with the Admirals and the Moose. Um, the Admirals did get some help today as far as tracking down the uh, top spot. Um, from yes, the um, and the Ice Hogs also gave us a little bit of help too, of giving us a little bit of breathing room from Iowa. Um, I uh, Rockford snaps Iowa's three game winning streak. Uh, we talked about that yesterday. Um, and Texas gets manhandled by the Wolves six to two. Um, in all fairness, that puts the Admirals in prime position with what we're four points back with two games in hand, so we can tie it. We have three in, uh, in hand against Iowa, one in hand against Rockford, two, three in, two in hand against uh, Grand Rapids, none against the Moose. They actually have one on us. Um, and we're tied for games played with the Wolves. Um, the Admirals are also riding a three-game win streak. Most likely, I would recommend, I would probably assume after Yarrow being banged up a little bit in the last couple games and, and being very physical for him, which I also see that he thrives in that. Um, it makes him play harder. Um, he, he seems to thrive in it. Um, uh, who would you go with tomorrow? Because... Troy was red hot before the injury. We don't know the extent of it or where he's at. Um, and since then, Yarrow's been red hot. All right. So who 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 would you go with? Um, probably Yarrow just to give uh, Troy a little more rest. So you're saying probably play Troy on Wednesday? Yeah. Basically, it's a, if you see Troy tomorrow, we play Yarrow Wednesday either or. They're, they've been splitting time most of the year anyway, which has been nice for Yarrow because <laughs> last year, Yarrow pretty much had to start every game. All right. Um, not that I, – I can say it. I don't think teams had a lot of faith in Devin Cool. Um. Devin Cooley is about this far from seeing himself in the ECHL. Also, welcome our mascot, Timmy. Mm -hmm. But, alrighty, that is all we've got for today. Thank you all for watching. This has been From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Danny Vimo. Got Lewandowski over there. Have a great rest of your Saturday. And remember, there's an Uber. Lift or taxi, don't drive drunk.